ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys and uh, them Congo Indians. <laughs> Average nine feet tall. Well, some even right bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river white as a cloud <laughs> so they made me a god <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks uh, well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god <laughs> when i said i'm not the marrying kind uh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs <laughs> well, I ran away and well I spent weeks in the jungle <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches oh, God. true story I promise you <laughs> <laughs>